Hey guys, it's uh, Joe Porter from Innovatory Photography. There's a new web series that I'm launching that is all about photos and video, all things creative, and I hope to be able to share a few things I've learned along the way. So the first series I'm doing is a 10-part series on how to take better photos with the camera you already have. So you ready for the first one? Here it is, number one, go to the extremes. Now I'm not really talking about going to Iceland and hiking and taking amazing photos off cliffs, things like that. Not that extreme. I'm talking about going to extremes, really taking risks with your photos. So what does that look like in everyday life? Maybe you shoot down low on the ground or shoot way up high and climb up on a chair. Get a different perspective. It allows you to start seeing life differently. It allows you to start seeing things differently. So. Uh, your, photo, your camera might look anything like this, so you might be using an iPhone. You might have a point and shoot. Uh, this is one that I use, it's a Fujifilm X30. So you're, you might have a screen like this to where it allows you to tilt it up or tilt it down. Again, great for high and low extremes. Get it down really low, tilt the screen up and see what you're shooting and get an interesting perspective. Same thing with way up high. So that, that's great for that. You might have a DSLR, maybe an entry level or a pro one. Um, you can go to some great extremes of the DSLR once you learn the functions and the dials on here. So that might mean taking an overly dark photo like a silhouette or maybe an overly bright photo. So allowing the camera to make the decision, it's going to try to achieve equilibrium. But when you start to be in control, and that's another video we'll do later, that allows you to be in control and do some extremes. So this week, take some risks. I'm going to show you a quick example. This is my son Alex, He's, uh, ride, he was riding his bike through puddles and I was just messing around and experimenting. So I got down really low, framed it up, I made sure I set the exposure to the sky. Again, later video on how to control the exposure with any phone or camera that you have. And that allowed an overly dark silhouetted photo, down low, interesting perspective, of course the reflection helped. The reason why that looks interesting to, to most folks is because of course that's not at regular eye level. We all walk around at eye level. That's the first one. Go to extreme, start taking risks with your photos and something amazing might happen. So do that this week. I'd love to see those, share those with me and show me how you're taking risks and stay tuned for the next nine tips on how to take better photos with a camera you already own. See you guys next time.